While renewing their covenants, Alma asked his people, Can ye look up to God at that day with a pure heart and clean hands? Can you look up, having the image of God engraven upon your countenances? It seems that this idea of engraving God's image on one's countenance is unique to Alma and cannot be found anywhere else in Scripture. But according to LDS Mesoamerican scholars Brant Gardner and Mark Wright, the words engraven and image used together in that way may be a reference to an important ancient tradition. In Mesoamerica, many cultures used rituals of deity impersonation as a form of worship. They would engrave materials like jade, obsidian, wood, or turquoise into masks of their gods. These masks were often worn by priests, warriors, and those of the ruling class. Because Alma was working with so many recent converts, he may have referenced these mask traditions as a means of helping those new members understand the importance of shifting their focus to the gospel of the one true God. To Alma, receiving God's image was akin to being spiritually born of God and having a mighty change of heart. But to receive the image of God engraven upon one's countenance takes much more than dressing up in a mask and performing a ritual. And unlike wearing the engraved masks of false deities, what Christ offers is not just for the ruling class, but for everyone. As Alma taught, it requires all who wish to emulate Jesus Christ to live as he lived and serve as he served. It's through following the example of Jesus Christ that everyone can look up to God at that day with a pure heart and clean hands, having his image engraved upon their countenance. And now you know why.